Hi, welcome, my name is Lisa. You're watching One Lisa Show, and this is gonna be a very quick video, but these are my February plans. To start with, I am wearing a shirt I made. The shirt is a me made. It is kind of a springy, summery shirt, but perfect for, that's Penny. <laughs> perfect for, for February because it has these hearts and cherries on it. That was a clearance quilting cotton from Joann's. And the pattern was, I think, simplicity and also reprinted on a Butterick. It is a pattern by Gertie. If it's still available, I'll put a link in the description box. It's really a cute pattern. I've made a couple of them and I love this top. February is a short month. It's also cold and I'm trying to get back in the swing of sewing. I know March is going to be a very busy month because we have two awesome challenges that will be coming in March. One is Sew Yellow for Endo, which will be my first time participating, but with my recent endometriosis diagnosis and surgery, I think it's appropriate to take a part in it. So um, now that I've gone through everything and I can report back, it's not fun, do not recommend. Even though we don't really have a say in certain things, I want to help and I want to spread the word and um, and participate in that challenge. And of course we have what was Frugal Frax is now so frugal that is coming back. And I am also signed up to participate as a featured vlogger for that awesome, awesome, most fun challenge. Without further ado, my sewing challenges this month, I have two items that I have. <sighs> I say that because the deep breath because I haven't done a lot of sewing lately. I've gotten some sewing and I have this massive goal to do 52 makes this year. And they're all creative makes. Doesn't have to be all sewing makes, yet it, I'm falling behind. In fact, I was talking to Big Daddy yesterday and I said, I really wanna make a video, but I don't, I don't know what to talk about. I cut out a pattern and I didn't know what to talk about. This is how behind I am on, on what to do. I cut out, <laughs> I'll show you, here's all the pieces, my pattern pieces, everything. This is Megan Nielsen Dawn Jeans. I'm making the straight leg version. It is a size, I think 16 or 18 I'm making. That, that denim is from Minerva and it's a lighter weight denim and it's a nice dark color. I have washed that denim probably about four times at this point and I feel it was safe to now cut and start working. I did not do my pocket bags or the inside of the lining or the interfacing yet. For the pocket bags and the inside of the waistband, excuse me, the inside of the waistband and the pocket bags are gonna be um, a fabric, uh, basic cotton that I can find in my, I'm gonna go through my scraps. I'm gonna use something that kind of is bright and cheery to me. I do not know if I'm gonna do a zip fly or a button front fly. Haven't decided to cut out all the pieces so I could do either or. I have made this pattern before and it was a button fly. I loved it, so I'm kind of leaning to do another button fly, but at the same time, part of me is wondering if I should try something different and do a zip. I The pair that I had made in the past was made out of stretch denim. This is not a stretch denim. And I, as much as I love them, I feel like it was more of a learning experience. The waist is a little tight. So this one, I'm going to be adamant to try to loosen that waist up just a smudge. And I'm also going to make sure I make it a little longer than I did originally. The first pair I made, they were a little uh, short on me. I still wear them, I don't care, because they're fun and I love them. And I plan to do the same with this pair, but I'm gonna make them just a little longer. And which is fun, because I'm only 5'2". If you hear that ringing, that's my phone, but we're gonna ignore it right now. My second plan, a sewing item is something that I have worn in the past couple of videos. It is Simplicity 1538. This is a pattern that I have made. I've made one of, I love it. I need to make more and I've been saying that. So it's on my list to make here in February. I had cut the pieces because this is when I was relatively new to sewing again and it still fits. So we're gonna go with it and I'm just gonna make it. I'm not sold on this fabric, so just hear me out. I know I wanna make this, I'm not sold on the fabric, but I have some leftovers of a cotton shirting that 
it's really nice. I would love to make this again in flannel. I think the flannel was just top notch. It's so cozy and comfy, but I don't have a flannel that's screaming to me to make it into this shirt. Unless I find something at Joann's and I'd hate to go and buy it when I really just want to make another one of those shirts because they're great. I think this would look good with that dark denim. So this is on the list. Uh, this is a scrap. I made my niece a dress out of this fabric and I, I'm hoping I can make it work. If I can't, I will go through my stash and look for something else. But this is what I'm thinking about for this top. I don't know if I will do any contrasting cuffs or collars like they show in the pattern. That isn't a, really something that matters to me. Uh, we'll see what's in my stash. Maybe, maybe not. Those are my plans for my sewing makes. If you don't care about any of my other crafts, you can head on out, but I have two craft items I wanna share. The first is when I was cleaning out my yarn stash, I found this pile. This pile of cotton yarn is perfect for dishcloths. That's what I was gonna make. I have made Swiffer um, covers for out of this stuff, out of crochet. And it looks like I started a dishcloth. I didn't finish it. Instead, then I took, and it looks like I started knitting a dishcloth. And I don't particularly care for that one either. So I am going to unravel all of this. And I'm going to look for a dishcloth pattern that is crochet. Because I like the thickness, getting it thicker. I like the nubs. Um, but I like a, a, a crocheted dishcloth. And the reason why is, especially with it being kind, it's soft. If the bleach gets it and the color comes off, it's not the end of the world. Not that I bleach my dishes, but sometimes you use it to clean other things. They last a long time and they're good for non-stick. And sometimes non-stick, it still sticks. So I wanna make a dishcloth. We're due for a new dishcloth. And this is what I wanna do. This is one of my projects. This should be a quick, relatively quick project, but still something I can work on while I'm watching TV. And then the other, my last item I would love to finish is something I've already started, but I'm about halfway done. It is the Granny Pop V-neck sweater by MJ's Off the Hook Designs. I have already made one for my niece for Christmas, wanted to make one for myself. I found some Red Heart Designer Sport yarn. It's a weight three yarn. The color is berry. And I have started this now. I don't think I have enough berry yarn to finish it. So I'm going to be scouring eBay, <laughs> scouring everybody I know, Ravelry, see who has some. It is probably bigger than it needs to be, but that's okay. I have, this is how far I've gotten. I'm very pleased with that. And I'm only skin and a half in. So I think this is going to work. I love it. I love how it's turning out. It's going to be baggy, but you have to wear a shirt under it anyway because it's so holy. So I'm on the hunt to find one more ball of that yarn, at least. And uh, I'd love to finish that. That's what I'm doing at night after we're watching, while we're watching TV after dinner. And so I get a couple of rows in every night, and that makes me very happy and relaxed. These are my plans for February. What are your plans for February? Please let me know. Let me know if you have any thoughts about anything I'm making, honestly. And I look forward to bringing more content as always, but I want it to be meaningful. So if it would be helpful to showcase my journey of making these jeans, let me know, because that's what I'm thinking of doing. I hope you do something creative wherever you are in the world today. And thank you so much for watching. Penny is really sad that her toy is under the dresser even though there are 20 other toys surrounding her she wants to play with that specific one and it is time for a walk so we'll just have to wait on that thanks again for watching talk to you soon bye bye